strictly about what products I use to keep my skin clear fresh and glowing naturally so it's gonna be I'm gonna keep this one fairly short because I originally filmed this one and it was 22 minutes long and I think I was just bombarding y'all with so much information so I'm gonna keep it short and if you have any questions after that I'll try to answer them the best I can or kind of make spin-off videos based on uh, the questions that you ask but um, Stay tuned, keep watching. So my African Black Soap. This, I use it as a face wash. I use this every time I wash my face. I don't have a specific face wash, it's just this. Like, no, nothing else. This is um, a barred soap. I'm gonna open it up for y'all. I haven't opened this one up yet. I got this from the Natural Cupboard store in Denton, Denton, Texas, and honestly, yes, it dries the heck out of my face, but any acne, any blemishes, any, like it treats dandruff, ringworms, eczema, and rashes, I don't really have all those other things, but for the acne and blemishes, I mean, I definitely can say that I saw a big difference in my skin, and I've been using this for about a year now, and this is my my thing I, I will forever continue to use this i will not switch back to any um pump face wash i noticed that this does the trick for me um i got this for about 10.99 of course a lot of people have told me that you can find african black soaps at other stores i like this because it says 100 percent natural and i mean i just i just feel like I got it from a natural store, so it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, but I, I, I like my things, uh, my face products to have minimal, minimal products, and this, this is good. The only ingredients it has is banana, pawpaw, cocoa, palm kernel oil, and purified water. So really simple things that I know I heard of, and I can spell. So um, this is good stuff. Uh, definitely, if you can find your own. Uh, African black soap that works for you I'd say go for it but African black soap is a must okay so this is my rosehip oil Rata rosehip oil this is my face moisturizer um, I just use oils as my face moisturizer and to condition my skin because I use the African black soap and it's so strong and so drying that the oils that I use kind of counteract, you know, that drying that occurs. Uh, this rosehip oil is the truth. Um, it comes in a dropper form. You see that? I use about two to three drops when the weather is warm and about six to seven when it's cold outside because my face is now dry because of that African soap. But um, this stuff is the truth. It is anti-inflammatory it has anti-inflammatory properties it fights against age spots wrinkles it has antioxidants it is a sunscreen like it protects against the free radicals the sun you know sun damage it I mean the list goes on this stuff is so good and it helps with healing your acne and blemishes so that was one of the main reasons I really got it and it's a plus that it kind of gets rid of those wrinkles which I think a lot of oils naturally do because the oily your skin the less chance wrinkles are gonna be produced that's more so with dry skin but um this stuff is good it's high in vitamins it's extracted from a plant from a rose the rose hip plant it is so good I recommend that you get this I take this everywhere anywhere I go this is with me and um, I got a big bottle because I know I'm gonna run through this I, I use it all the time um, it's my only face moisturizer that I really use uh, I don't use any creams or lotions I just use oils and it's 
honestly have it has done wonders so if you don't have this and you know you're thinking about trying essential oils out for your skin I would say definitely go with the rosehip oil I got this from Amazon for like $10.99 no $13.99 from Amazon and um, it's a hundred percent organic it's natural I mean I, I don't see why not it most natural products for me there's less of a, a chance of me having a major reaction I've noticed um, but when I use stuff where I can't <laughs> spell the ingredients or correctly pronounce it then I know hey there's a chance you could you could have a reaction to that but this is just distilled rosehip oil 100% pure cold pressed you know I you know that's it I'd say go for it try it try it this is good it's cheap not you know um and yeah that's it get it my helichrysum say that three times fast right helichrysum I love this stuff this is like my acne spot treatment of course it's another essential oil that is derived from a plant it comes in a dropper you honestly only need about one drop of this this is this is pretty potent it is uh, antifungal it has antifungal antibacterial properties of course it fights wrinkles it's a sun protector it uh, what else does this do I mean this stuff is good it, it goes on and on I'm sorry I, I don't have a detailed list about what everything does but um, I'm just gonna give you like the basis of everything and I'm gonna tell you to go read the reviews and and do some research on your own and see if it's something that you would like to try for me this is good stuff of course um, also has anti-aging properties fights against free radicals um, this is my spot treatment again I whenever I have a bump or um, I feel one coming out I go ahead and drop some helichrysum on it it is really good one time I actually cut my finger and um I was bleeding a little bit and well yeah a little bit it was like a, a good little cut I um, read the, a review that if you drop this on a like a cut that it will literally stop the bleeding and I was like okay you know let me put this to the test so I dropped I put one drop of it on my finger that was bleeding like I mean dripping blood and within about 30 seconds it stopped bleeding I was amazed and then uh, from that moment on I said this I'm, I'm definitely sticking to this this is something I will continue to use I will always use um, of course I don't have another spot treatment so this is my oil spot treatment um I got this from Amazon for I want to say probably $13 also this there's a lot of them I really I feel like it's really important to read the ingredients in it also I want the ones that are not loaded with other carrier oils because carrier oils also dilute the potency of it and um, I, 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 I'm not saying that I want it super potent but I don't want it to be like so diluted that it doesn't produce its natural effects so um, this one from essential oil labs on Amazon I really like it I feel like it's the best one it had the best reviews of course it says hundred percent pure and natural there is another helichrysum that's like the undiluted not mixed with anything like really little and that thing is like a couple hundred dollars I did not get it only because I hadn't tried it out and um, since I, I just want to start off with the $13 one or the the one that wasn't gonna run me so much money for such a little amount but this is good um, it, it works really well I don't break out that bad anymore so I won't I don't see myself buying the a hundred dollar helichrysum but if you're like really desperate at this point you've tried everything and that's your option I'd say go for it um, natural products beats medication to me try and get the natural way um, the best you can definitely beats taking any medications or um, putting any harsh medications on your face that have crazy adverse effects that are a page long so yeah this is a must for me um if you want to try it out I definitely say try it out 
for you though for y'all i'd advise to dilute it a little bit because this is it's it's still pretty potent and um it can burn so you know be careful use cautiously those are my daily face products that i use you see it's a really simple really minimal you can list the ingredients you know how to spell them you know exactly what's in there um so I that that's what I use for my face. I don't use any scrubbers. I just use my hand because the soap is harsh enough to get any dirt and grime out of your face without using a scrubber. I'm really gentle with my face and I feel like there's no need for me to load up more than is necessary. The, this the minimum has worked for me and I think that's what a lot of people fail to do. It's you're doing so much to your face you never really get an understanding of what is really working. So I've weeded out so many things and this is the basis of my daily face cleansing process, what I use for my skin on a daily, daily basis. Um, again, you don't need to do much. Just the natural. Get back to the natural. Get back to simplicity. You know, keep it simple. <laughs> I don't know that works for me I, maybe for you doing all that works but I feel like how can you really tell what's working when you're using so much stuff so that's that's basically it for me no scrubbers no no anything I mean occasionally I'll do a face mask with bentonite clay and some turmeric and I, maybe I can show you all that in another video if y'all really want to see that but honestly that's it that's how I cleared my skin along with a natural organic vegan diet so it, it's a twofold thing it's not just use these oils and my skin clears you really got to take care of yourself internally what are you putting into your body what are you feeding your body um, how much sleep are you getting how much water are you drinking those all play a factor in making sure your skin is clear and um, keeping you healthy you know giving you some longevity in your life so um, Definitely don't just look at skincare products as your, what is it, end all be all to perfect skin. It's, it's, it's going to take some work with your diet and your exercise and what type of negativity you're, you're letting into your life. Really, everything all factors in, but this is just a skincare video, so I'll, I'll save all that talk for another video. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you want to hear more, you have more questions, feel free to message me. Follow me on Instagram. The link will be somewhere up here <laughs> or down there. Uh, yeah, have a blessed day.